while he fights for his life. I am all for it. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope all of you are having a great day. Today I'm going to be watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure episode 3 and 4. But I'm really nervous for this episode, but also really excited to see what happens. So let's get into it. Of course you won't. But what, what's the proof? Like, what did you find out? tries to be a gentleman. What is it? I feel he's acting and he's pretending. I mean, I'm pretty sure that part's correct, but I don't think you feel guilty. You're still planning something. Who's that? Oh, ha ha, it's the guy. <laughs> the guy with the cool, dangerous hat. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> Oh, everyone's there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's he going to do? What is he going to do? What does that mean? Are you going to use it? Oh my gosh! He's using it on himself! He's a maniac! Oh my gosh! He's not dead, you guys. He'll come back to life. The poor dad! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! He didn't. What? He did something good for you? And this is what you do to him? Oh my gosh. This was his plan from the beginning. Guys, I doubt he's dead. That thing brings you back to life. I know, right? 
So sad. It's gone. He knew it. He's not dead. Terrifying. Oh, my gosh. It's the mask. But he's like extra strong now because of that mask. Yo, oh my gosh. The monster. Literally sucked the life out of that guy. Monster, a monster. He's become a monster. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Obviously. For some, why did your mother have that mask? Huh? Oh my god, they came back to life! They're zombies! Or vampires. It's like his minions. Yo, he swung that thing so hard it like bent. <laughs> Come on, Jojo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> How do you like kill a thing like that? You gotta put him in the sun! Oh, wow, my gosh. Push him in the sun. The gutter got disintegrated in the sun. Oh, that room's got completely empty. What? Oh, wow, fire! Put him on fire! Protecting Speedwagon, it's not his fights, it's between brothers. <laughs> He jumped that high with something stabbed in his arm off a sword? What the heck? Get out of there, speed wagon. I think things gonna blow. <laughs> or like collapse. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Is he walking on the wall? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Have that anger like build up for everything he's done. Think of something, Jojo, you can do it. <laughs> Yo, the guy's like worried about him. <laughs> Jojo, you can't die yet. Oh my gosh. How do you like take off that belt so easily? Whoa. Literally fighting and pulling as they're falling. This is crazy. What are these sounds? Oh, whoa, whoa! The Guardian of jo Oh my goodness! Is he alive? The guy's crying. Aww. Stop bringing that mask back, please. No, do not tell me that is Dio. What? <laughs> that was the third episode of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and this episode was absolutely insane and also heartbreaking. I don't know, but I'm worried because I feel like Dio has a revenge plan going on. I am scared, kind of excited, half relieved that probably Dio might take time off trying to think of something, but I am excited for this next episode, so let's get into it. The speed wagon, he has you, right? What a guy! Oh, Edina. Oh, she's taking such good care of him. It's awake. Speed wagon, though. <laughs> that guy is such a great guy. Aww. <laughs> yeah, not as much as you, Jojo. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Oh, 
Speedwagon, though. What a great guy. Speedwagon withdraws. <laughs> Aww. I don't like this music. It sounds like something bad is happening. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Stop it. Go away! He's gathering minions! What is he planning? Gone now, dude. Dio has it. It wasn't. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> Huh? What is he doing, dude? <laughs> Who are you? What the heck? Yeah, how could you? This guy's just casually eating a sandwich. What the heck? Yo, what is happening? Baron Zeppeli? What did he do? Yeah, what did... Yo, what are you, dude? There are so many questions. What on earth is happening? This guy is so trippy. Who is this guy? That's like next level. Whoa. And a clean cut, too. All who's worn it? How many people was that? So there's like more like Dio? And also, why did his mom have it? Whoa! Whoa! 
Jojo, you're the chosen one. Ah, jeez. Oh, so he just wants to take over the world. Will A. Zapelli. Oh wow! Thinking you found something like amazing and it turns out to be a crazy weapon? Said the same thing. Oh. Wow, he spends a lot of time on this. <laughs> Whoa. I like that name, Zapelli. I'm teaching you whether you like it or not. I look forward to seeing JoJo do this. Okay. Speed wagon though, I love the guy. <laughs> An unlikely ally from the Ogre Street. <laughs> Why'd you stop in the middle of the tunnel? Dark tunnel. Oh my gosh. That's so terrifying. Though, huh? Did he just like stab himself? Teaching while gonna be in a fight. I love it. Oh my goodness. You can't get out. Ew. Gross.
Drinking wine. <laughs> Pose. You have to obliterate his brain. That he was a zombie. He's also a vampire. Hey, what are you? Oh my gosh. Testing him while he fights for his life. I am all for it. <laughs> Dude, don't spill your wine. Don't drop it. Not a single drop, dude. This is terrifying. Oh, no. Even when getting his arms sliced, he's like, nah, nah, not this wine. <laughs> Gotta imagine. Imagine. That power though. <laughs> Good job, Jojo. Wow. So that was episode four of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and I really enjoyed this episode because in the beginning, Speedwagon was thinking that JoJo literally lost everything and he's alone in this world because he lost his father, he lost his home and he wanted to give JoJo some heart and give him a reason to live because JoJo is in, unconscious in the hospital. So he goes to visit him but he sees that this woman has been taking great care of him and it turned out to be Edina Pendleton so he was like, speed. It seems like I'm not, I'm not needed. So Speedwagon leaves coolly, which I love Speedwagon. He's such a funny guy. But after JoJo comes back, him and Edina were taking a walk, and they run into this person named Baron Zappelli, who has actually been looking for the mask and everyone who has worn it. Which makes me very nervous because how many people throughout the years that this mask has been around on this earth, on the earth? How many people have worn it? Which is so scary to think about. But Baron Zappelli taught, showed Jojo this energy ripples called Sen Tao, which he ends up trying to teach Jojo because he was like, whether you like it or not, I'm gonna teach you anyway. Because he he sees that there's an energy in Jojo after he like stabbed him with his pinky of like bringing these flowers back to life. So he's like, there's a chance that you, this youth, has a chance of saving the world from Dio, who plans on taking over the world, because he's a maniac and he's gathering crazy minions. But while Zapelli was teaching Jojo, it goes over to Dio, who 
got another minion named Jack who's like this crazy killer. And it turns out that he can make them into like the zombies or like zombie slash vampire kind of thing where they, they're also very strong, but they get energy from the blood. But Zapelli was telling Jojo the way to fight Dio is because they have the energy ripples and a ripple plus another ripple, another ripple cancels out the other. So Dio has to get blood to have his energy while they use the energy from their bloodstream. So that's how they're gonna fight Dio. Very complex. But Speedwagon comes to Jojo and says that something is happening in this mountain village called Wind Night What? Where there's people going missing and he smelled a rat. But when they were entering this dark tunnel, the cabman, the guy that was leading the carriage, got killed because one of Dio's minions named Jack, that crazy killer, he kills them and he ends up trying to fight them. And Zapelli uses this battle as an opportunity to teach Jojo how to use the ripples, even though he hasn't really like used it yet. But after Zapelli fought and showed him how to do these things and gave him like this whole Vikings lecture, he tells Jojo that if he spills a single drop of wine, even if he wins, it's over. So don't spill a drop of wine. So he goes after Jack in this another dark tunnel and he finally understood the reason for the wine and he had all this energy and he ends up defeating Jack, which was crazy because the guy literally like blew up. But I'm really nervous for the future episodes because the fact that Zapelli has spent years trying to look for the mask because he was the first one to find it. And now you just think about how many people have worn that mask through the years. And how did it, and why did the mother have it? Like, was she actually like investigating it? I wanna know how the mother got her hands on it. That's what I wanna know. But it makes me so nervous for the future episodes because JoJo's trying to learn how to fight Dio while Dio's actually getting a bunch of these minions. And then what if like other people who have worn the mask like come together for like this whole invasion of the world. It's so crazy to think about. But that is all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!